In this video, I'm gonna talk about Kittle and five things I think Kittle does really well. So if you're looking to compare different design apps or just wanna learn more about Kittle, this video is for you. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about Kittle and the five things that I think Kittle does really well. Now, I wanted to put this video together because a lot of, there's a lot of different design apps out there and you may wanna compare one to another. So I want to highlight what Kittle does well. I may do other videos for other design apps, what they do well. So there's lots of pros uh, for each one. I wanted to give highlights for this one first, Kittle. And if you guys want, leave in the comments different apps that you want me to do these same kind of videos for. I could do one for Canva, uh, Affinity Designer, Inkscape, Photop, any of those. But I'm gonna start with Kittle. And I think there's lots of pluses, lots of pros on Kittle. We're gonna go there first and I'm gonna show you what I think my favorite things are about Kittle so you can see what they are as well. So here I am on Kittle, Kittle.com, you can see right there. Um, so the main thing that Kittle does, the first thing that I think Kittle does really, really well, better than any other design app online, is templates. Now this is what they started with. You can see this is their main focus. Uh, all these templates right here. Their templates are amazing. Not only do they look amazing, but what's amazing is you can click any one of these, uh, click on it, open it up, and start typing and editing it. Like I could change free to another word, I could change this color, I could change any one of, all of these are editable, which is amazing on its own. Uh, and the way that they've done it um, too, as you can see, uh, if you're not selling shirts like I am and you wanna do posters, this is great for any graphic design content creation online, right? So you, if you're the type that loves to do posters, maybe with Displate or uh, Redbubble, or you like to do cards with Zazzle or whatever, it's here. All of it is here. If you wanna do some social stuff, they're all here. Uh, and one thing that I wanted to show you that you may not have known, this is kind of a secret thing. If you go Inspiration, you can go T-shirts, which you do know, but if you don't click those and you just hit Inspiration, you can see they've sectioned this out. So this is what's cool. If you do logo, they have all these different sections. If you do t-shirts, now they're in sections. You can, if you wanna narrow down to animal t-shirt, you click on here and you'll see a bunch of animal t-shirt templates and so on. So look at this, they just broke it out. So maybe you wanna come in here and you wanna do a sports design. Let's click on it and look, all the sports designs here. Look at that, I can go in here and click on here and maybe I wanna do a fishing shirt or do one like this that looks like athletics, right? Uh, any one of these can start right here and right here just makes it really easy, start creating, it opens the artboard. So that is the first thing and I think the best thing about Kittle, uh, in my opinion, is the templates. Nobody even comes close to these kinds of templates, this kind of uh, vintage design, right? Um, there we see a lot of simple templates all over the internet but this kind of design these are made by professional designers and you can see it it shows right so again number one is templates so the second thing that I think Kittle does extremely well is fonts uh, they started as a font foundry uh, and so you'll see the best looking fonts on here I think in my opinion they have some of the best. So I started a new project here and we're just gonna type fonts, just do a text, any one of these. Uh, you can also hit the T button and let's do that right now. I'll just hit T, you can see right there. Now it starts you off with just a sans serif here, but check out these fonts, right? Some of the best fonts uh, online, but they're here embedded into Kittle, right? Uh, look at that, like, you can buy these fonts uh, online separately if you wanted to download some of these, but they're already here in Kittle when you have the subscription. Check this out. Like I can go through all of them, but that's just A. Look how many fonts they have. And they're, all of them are really cool. Some of these, you, it, they're hard to find, right? Um, like this one is really cool, um, would be hard to find. And they like they work together like this adventure like this is a family pack right here, um, which would cost hundreds of dollars um, by itself. You go to myfonts.com um, and try and look for a family pack. Usually they're in the hundreds of dollars, but these all work together, right? Because they're adventure 
and there's there's a bunch of those like that but there's also some really cool like street fonts right which are hard to find and let's see some other one you even got some of these um for posters and things like this is so cool um they're all there's a lot of cool ones i can't talk about it enough they're just a ton of good fonts uh, i think i have some of my favorite i have a video for my favorite fonts but it keeps changing because they keep adding more and more fonts here um i've when they first came out they they had awesome fonts but now they just keep adding more and more and they know fonts these are font guys um this is what they started with they started as a font foundry and then they made kittle so they know fonts um better than most people i would say uh, and so you, you got some cool stuff like vintage stuff here. Look, um, these are kind of hard to find too, right? These, this is what's trending right down. They know the fonts that are trending. So again, um, great fonts on here on Kiddo. So that would be my second thing. If you're looking for good templates, vintage templates, and you're looking for good fonts, uh, Kittle has both. So the third thing that I think that Kittle excels in and kind of deals with fonts and that is font effects or text effects. So check this out. So I'm going to pick this font headline here. I'm going to make it smaller, right? And you can just distort it if you want. You can come in here. It's still editable, which is amazing, right? And this is the kind of thing that's popular right now. These vintage fonts that kind of do this wavy pattern. Look, if I want to come in here and I want to type something else, it does it and it keeps that same distortion, right? So not only distorting the fonts, you can see here, this one has rounded. I can go do that and that. I'm going to get rid of this and then do some other effects. Check these out. There's shading effects, right? And it's still keeping the font. Now you can still edit it, but it's adding these effects on top of it. And then there's these drawing things, which you can, you know, change too. So you have these tools down here that can change the color, right? Of stuff on here. Just so much you can do with uh, fonts and you can um, put these two together. So if you want to do this effect with that effect, right? You can all in real time, all with editable text and just amazing. So not only are they font guys, they know that um, we're gonna need, they're designers, so they know that we need to um, do some text effects, some settings, some things, and some like, look at that, just really quick. They know that some of these are the things that we need, that we like on t-shirts and posters and things, and so it's just automatic, right? You got, you can do custom if you wanted to, but you can do something like super easy automatic like that. So if you're looking for a design app that can quickly do text effects, can quickly do distortions on your text and still make your text editable, then I think Kittle is something you should consider. So the fourth thing that I think Kittle excels at is their textures. So if we come in here, they have a whole thing just dedicated to textures. So you can do this really easily right on here you can see i just changed the texture i can come in here and pick another one any of these grunge ones look just at a click of the button this is something that does really well on t-shirts that distress texture but it does well everywhere especially with the vintage designs that you find on kittle already and you can see i can go back and pick any of these they also have pattern textures they have crack textures they have a bunch of textures that I, and they keep adding more and more textures here too, which is really cool. So um, that's one thing that I think is really cool about Kittle that you won't find in most places. It would be really hard. You can do it yourself in Photoshop, but then you'd have to go and get those textures, download it and do it here. It's all included. So that's something really nice. They have a whole bunch of them and keep adding more and you can actually knock these out and make sure that they're, you know, uh, I can come in here and do an alpha mask on them. And then they're knocked out of the design. So the t-shirt will show through these textures, um, through through the design, through these holes uh, that the textures have made, the distress textures, which is really, really cool. And something that I think a lot of people want to do on their t-shirts just to make it stand out, just to give it that old grungy look. Something really simple you can do in Kittle that it's kind of hard to do anywhere where else um, but here so 
um, and especially with all of these you see you got 20 here like 68 here 22 all of these come included each one of these um, you would have to go and find uh, if you can't find them for free you would have to buy these textures and keep them on your desktop and, and use it that way so uh, the fourth thing again like I said and it all kind of works together with the textures and the fonts and the um, text effects and the templates right they all kind of work together so it's all that kind of thing if you're looking for that kind of style I think Kittle is the way to go so the last thing number five that Kittle is really good at is adding more and more stuff really good at listening to what the customers want uh, the users you and I and adding more and more things to their app so if you come over here um, they didn't start with this kiddo AI right you got all this AI stuff so when I do an AI version of a dog you have this background remover which is new you have this vectorizer which is new you have this object shadow which is new so they're always constantly adding new and new stuff so one thing that you may not know is that you can see the things that they're working on and you can go here go to your profile go down here feature request right there and this is where you can actually request what you want here um, feature request here and if someone's asking can you put a re erase tool can you put in guidelines and if you want to do that too come in here and vote I want this too I'm gonna upvote it right instead of 11 it's 12 and here's the roadmap these are all the things that they completed already look at that and here's things that are in progress so if you want cropping they're working on it if you want artboard presets they're working on it and here are some other things that are planned that they're going to work on so they're constantly improving Kittle um, more and more just making it better and better and they understand uh, graphic design because they're that's what they do they do fonts they do graphic design they work with um, graphic designers and these are professional graphic designers that are asking for these things so I think that's the power of Kittle is that they're uh, they're already really good, but they're going to get better and better and better from listening to their customers, their users. So there you go. Those are the five things that I think Kittle really excels in, uh, things that I really like. But the goal is to find the design app that works best for you. So you're going to have to try it out, see if it's doing the things that you need to do. And to help you with that, I have a code. I'll put it in the description uh, for a 30-day free trial. Now, it's only... Um, active for seven days so hopefully you're watching this uh, video really early if it's past the seven days and you try it that's probably why it's not working but uh, try it out try it out for 30 days try all the things that uh, you see me do in this video as well as this playlist I'm going to leave this playlist here of all my kiddo videos and you can try all the different things there and see if it like if you like it if it works for you and what you need to do as a, as a creator or seller Thanks again for watching and as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.